Well, I did not expect Mashima. Ma did Mashima just pull that? Okay, number one, you guys need to go and read this manga chapter because this manga chapter um, is showing a bunch of probably story um, depth that's going to be on later on. And honestly, I do not know how to react to this because Fairy Tale does not do this. This isn't Fairy Tale. And I'll tell you why because we have an aftermath of what happened after the Tartarus arc. And Tartarus is done. Um, everybody's Almost everybody's dead. You have all the dragons that are dead. And you have Aquarius is dead. You have um, Silver, he's dead. He had, Keith is dead. A everybody, everybody that was evil died, except for the dragons. And everybody's just mourning their deaths. Um, Mira Jane asks Makarov if he's going to um, rebuild the fairy tale guild, and he says, no, you know what? It's just time for a new era. Fairy tale will now disband. And this is just like really shocking. Like, I don't know what to say. Is it going to be the end of fairy tale, like the series, or is it just going to be a possible time skip? Because right after that, Natsu and Happy, they're sort of packing up. They have 13 million jewels, and then they also have 10 years worth of fish. And then he, and then I thought this was going to be a touching. You see, it's chapters like this. It's chapters like this that you can actually put pairings in. Because when Gray was sitting in like this snow place, and he was mourning, he was mourning Silver's death. And then Juvia came and said that Juvia was the one that killed Keith, and she um he got a little mad he got a little mad, but then he started embracing Juvia and said thank you. This, this is the exact time where you can say that fairy tale pairing is good. Not every single time that the characters are together. And back in chapter chapter three ninety six, that was also a time that you can put um like pairings like Gajil and Levy. But also this one, too, because that was actually one of the first times that Gray's actually shown affection toward Juvia. This is where I can accept pairings. But any other time, no. And if you guys are wondering why I'm saying that, just go look at my previous video about my rant on fairy tale fanboys and fangirls. But aside from that, Lucy comes into her room and it's completely clean. And then she realizes that her door was unlocked. She says, not so happy, why are you in? And then they, she realizes that. Natsu and Happy are not in her room for the first time. And then she sees this note. Natsu writes, sorry, I'm going to go get stronger. Me and Happy have gone in a tr on a journey in training. See you guys in a year. And Lucy, she's crying. She's going like, why are you going to leave me alone here? She'll say that in the anime. And yeah, it's just showing that um they're going to go on a year training. And then you have my boy, Seraph. He is going, going like, Oh, it seems that end couldn't be destroyed. I'm waiting for you, Natsu. Or should I say, Etherius Natsu Dragoneal? I, I just read it in that badass, vo in that badass voice because I picture Zaref being like that. But just to see Zaref, he is waiting. I, I can't say the fairy tale is done, even though the guild is gone and everything's destroyed. Um, I can't really say that because um, Natsu's going on a trip to go train, almost like when Naruto went on a trip with Jiraiya, and I really don't know what to say to this. I can't say if it's a possible time skip, um, one year, in the, like next week, or probably um, just the end of the series. Um, I mean, I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Do you think that this is the end of the fairy tale series, or do you think that it is just another possible time skip? Because I really, I really would like another possible time skip. Um, fairy tale's getting good so far. For all you guys to say fairy tale sucks, like, Look at this. This is good setup. This is good setup for the next arc. And hopefully we see Natsu with some new powers. Um apparently Zero spoiled that he has now he now has an Etherist form. Um it, not dragon not Dragon Force, but an Etherist form. So I hope to see, see that with Natsu. And yeah, tell me in the comments. Did you guys like this chapter? Did it give really good setup for another possible time skip? And yeah, tell me all together how did you like this? Um and Sorry if I didn't include La Loxus or um, everybody else. I, I could include Urza about this. Um, Urza, she was also traumatized about how she was basically almost raped in um, in that like in that Tartarus dungeon with Kyoka in them, and she was just remembering that. And you have Jalal coming over, he's saying that you know what, it's all right. The past is the past. We just got to move on. You move forward, Urza. Um, that was just some some good and wise word that um, Jalal put. And all together, this is a really good chapter. Um, Zelda Legends 12, hope to see your live reaction. 
and tell me, did you guys like this chapter or not? And that's all for me today. If you guys liked this review, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And be sure to comment, hit that like button like it sold something, and be sure to subscribe if you're new. And be sure to follow me on Twitter that will be in the description. And until we meet again, see ya.